Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these components for the necklace that came from the contents of the La Dolce Vita Beading School Academy subscription box. So in this video I'll just be showing you how to create those bead woven components and then in a separate video I will follow back up to share with you how you can put them together to create the necklace that you see in the example below. These components though can be put together in all sorts of different ways, even if you just want to make two of these and use them in a pair of earrings. And you can also connect together more than three of them if you want. Now, even if you didn't get that Beading School Academy subscription box that contained everything that you need to make these components, you can still find all the materials at the Beading School shop online, which I have linked to right down below the video. And I also have the full list of materials and links to everything down below as well. Briefly though, we'll be using a couple of check glass two hole beads, the Ginkgo's and the two hole tile beads. These I happen to love because they are the table cut variety and have a little bit of that stone like finish around the edges. There's all different colors at beading school. We'll also be using some three millimeter crystal bicones, 15-0 round seed beads, 11-0 Miyuki Delica beads, and in the center, we'll be using some of these seven millimeter crystal sew-on components that are already in the settings. Here's a look at the back of the piece close up before we get into it. And as my beading thread today, I'll be using the six pound .006 inch diameter fire line. You can use whatever you're comfortable with. And I recommend a size 11 beading needle or something that will allow you to make multiple passes through some of these little tiny 15 seed beads. So right now, if you're gonna be making one of these with me, you can gather up all your materials, thread your needle with a comfortable length of beading thread, and we will jump into this tutorial. The first step is to pick up eight of your 15 0 seed beads, and you can pull those down towards your tail thread and leave yourself about a five inch tail that you can weave back in in a little bit. And what we're gonna do is sew back through all eight of those seed beads again, starting from the beginning to turn these into a loop. So just go back around, holding the tail thread and your working thread together. And once you've gone through all eight of those, you're also gonna to wanna to go through the next two once again. And then pull that all together and you end up with this loop of seed beads to get started. And now we're gonna be adding in one Delica bead in between each of these two 15 O's. So pick one up and then go through the next two seed beads that you get to and pull and repeat that three more times. One Delica and sew through the next two 15 O's. And we have one more to add in. And this time we'll also sew through the next Delica. So be coming out of that one. Pull that nice and tight. And this is what we have that we're gonna be building onto. So now we're gonna be adding on our two hole tile beads. You can go ahead and pick one of those up. And mine are the same on both sides, so it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go through one of the holes and then pull that down to that Delica bead that we're coming out of. Then we'll pick up two of our 15 O's, one Delica and two 15 O's. You can pull those down and then you're gonna be returning down through the open hole of that same tile bead and also sew through the next Delica that you get to. And we're gonna do that three more times. So we'll have a total of four of those all around that first square of seed beads that we made. So once again, we'll pick up a tile going through one of those holes. Also pick up two of your 15 O's, a Delica and two 15 O's.
So down through the open hole of the tile and through the next Delica bead. Pull that all together. And I'll be getting rid of that tail thread in just a moment so it won't be in the way for the video. I'm going to continue on like we just did and do two more of those steps, adding in those other two tiles. So here's what we have so far, and right now I'm going to put a needle on my tail thread and I'm going to sew that back into the beadwork a little bit and then trim off the excess. And at that point, I'll be right back so we can continue on with the next step. All right, so now with my thread coming out of this Delica bead, we're going to sew up through the next tile, going up through the hole that is located right there. And you can also sew through the next two seed beads. Already gotten through one, I'll go through the next one. And then we're gonna skip that Delica bead and sew down through the next two seed beads. And we'll go down through the tile and the Delica. This is helping the Delica that's in the center there to pop up above the seed beads and creates more of a point. We're gonna go around and do that to each of these four sections. So now we'll go up through the next tile and our next couple of seed beads. We'll skip the Delica and go down through the next two seed beads and also go down through the tile and the Delica. And repeat that two more times. And to continue on, we're going to sew up through our next tile again. Then sew through the four seed beads, skipping the Delica that's in the center. And then sew down through just the tile coming out of that one, which is where we're going to start to add on our sew on crystal. All right, so coming out of this tile bead, I'm gonna pick up one of the sew on crystals by sewing through one of the holes, doesn't matter which one. Pull that down. It's gonna sit on top of that first square of seed beads that we had created. And the hole is naturally going this way, sort of in a diagonal. So what I'm gonna do is go through the tile bead that is directly across from the one we started with but go through the hole that's on the other side, the one that's closest to where we're coming out of our sew on crystal. So we'll just go up through that tile bead that's across the way and pull that crystal. And it's gonna sit just like that. And we'll go through the next four seed beads
Then go through the same tile bead just through that next hole. And then coming out of that tile bead, you can see how now we're close to this hole, the other hole of the crystal. And so when we go through that, our needle's gonna be going this way. And we'll just do what we did before. So just sew through that and pull. And now sew up through the tile bead where we started, just going through that other hole this time which is close to where we're coming out of the crystal. And then we'll go through the four seed beads that are on top of that one. Down through the tile bead again. We'll go through our sew on crystal. And then this time we're gonna go over through the next tile that's adjacent to the two that we were working on. We'll proceed through these four seed beads, skipping our delicas just like we did before. Go down through our tile, go through the next hole of the sew on crystal, which is gonna put us over here and turn that and then we'll go up through the next tile bead around the seed beads again down through that last tile and you may need to bend that back a little bit to get the needle out of that bead and then go through the sew on crystal through that hole that's located right near where you're coming out. So right now your crystal is tacked down very well in the center of the beadwork. And we've also tacked it down to each of the tiles so it's not going anywhere. And with your thread coming out of one of the holes of the sew on crystal, at this time, we'll pick up five of our 15 O's and then sew through the next hole of the sew on crystal that you get to. Do that again, pick up five 15 O's and we'll go through the next hole and we'll do that two more times. Five fifteen O's. Go through this hole. And then five more. Going down that one. And then just sew through the next section of five seed beads that you get to. So you're coming out of the fifth one. And we're gonna add in a delica in between each of the seed bead sections. So pick up a delica, then sew through the next five seed beads. And then repeat that three more times. And now just to secure those seed beads a little bit more, we're gonna go around that ring again, just sewing through the 15 O's and skipping the delicas this time.
then go through one more section and finish by coming out one of those Delica beads. Pull that nice and tight and those beads should be fitting snug right around the crystal. And now we're gonna start attaching some of our ginkgo beads. First, we'll pick up three of our seed beads and then we're gonna pick up one of our ginkgos with the point facing towards the needle. And I went up through the right hand side. This is gonna be sitting right in between the tiles and that's gonna be the case for each section. Now pick up five more of your seed beads and you're gonna sew down through the open hole of the same ginkgo. And then pick up three more seed beads. And at this point, you're gonna return through the same Delica bead where you started, and you're gonna go through the next five seed beads and come out your next Delica bead. And we're gonna do that three more times. So once again, that was three of our 15 O's. Head up through a ginkgo, pick up five more 15 O's, and sew down through the same ginkgo. Then pick up three more 15 O's, and then sew back through the Delica and the next five seed beads and the next Delica. And now you'll do that two more times. And now with our thread coming out of this Delica here, right under this first ginkgo that we had worked on, we're going to sew up next through the next three 15 O's. Then we'll sew up the ginkgo and sew through those five 15 O's that are on top of it. From there, you're gonna pick up three more 15 O's and pick up one of your bicone beads and then locate your next tile that you're heading towards. And you're gonna go down through the first 15 O that is on top of the tile and the tile bead going down through the hole that's closest to you. I'm gonna flip this over to the back so you can see where I'm going through and coming out of back there. And we're just gonna go up through that same tile bead, just going through the next hole, and also go up through the next seed bead that is on top of the tile. This time we're coming out of the seed bead right here. We're gonna pick up a Bicone, and we're going to pick up three of our 15 O's and then sew directly through the next 
five 15 O's that are on top of our next ginkgo bead. Just like that. And now we're just going to repeat what we did all the way around. So once again, on this side, we pick up three 15 O's and a bicone. And then we look to our next tile bead, go to the 15 0 on top of that, and go down through the tile. And then just go up through the next hole of the same tile, and also go through the single seed bead directly on top of it. Pull that once again. And on this side, we pick up our bicone first, then three seed beads, and we'll go through the next five seed beads on our next ginkgo. And now we've got two more sides to do. Pick up our three 15 O's and our bicone. So down through the single seed bead and the tile. Then up through the tile and the seed bead. Pick up a bicone and three seed beads. And we're on the last section. And here we're going to just keep sewing until we get to our next bicone bead, which is that one. Then we'll pick up two of our 15 O's and sew down through the three 15 O's on the side of the ginkgo and pull. Then continue by sewing through the Delica and up through the three seed beads on the other side of the same ginkgo. Pick up two of your 15 O's, and sew up through the bicone, and we're gonna sew through the next six 15 O's, which will put us right at the center of that ginkgo bead at the top. And we're gonna make a little pico just around that central 15 O. So I picked up three 15 O's and I'm going to go through the same one and also continue sewing through my next seed beads. Sew through the next crystal bicone. And then we're going to sew through the central two 15 O's. So not the one that we went through to go down the tile bead, but we're just going to scoot over through that 15 O right next to the Delica. Skip the Delica and also sew through the next one 15 O. And then sew through the next crystal. And around these seed beads and crystal. And we're going to repeat what we did before. So that's pick up two of our 15 O's and sew down through these three on the side of the ginkgo. And then sew through that Delica bead and up through the next three seed beads. Pick up two more 15 O's. Go up through the bicone.
and then sew through the next six 15 O's. Then you're going to make your pico up here, so we'll pick up three 15 O's, sew through the same one we're coming out of, and then continue through the next seed beads and your crystal bicone, and then up through the 15 O's that are on either side of the Delica bead that we get to next. Go down through that one, up through the crystal bicone, and then just sewing through these 15 O's to get to our next section. And coming out of the crystal bicone. So just repeat what we did two more times. So you have your next two sections done with the picos on top of each of those ginkgos over there. And at that point, I'll meet you back and we'll continue on. And when you're on your last one and you've just completed that fourth pico, you can actually just exit from that seed bead right below it and flip your beadwork over. And we're just going to complete one more step on the back in all four sections. So what we're gonna do first is pick up nine of our 15 O's. And then sew through the Delica that's right below that section on that original ring of beads at the back. Once you've done that, we're going to be adding in an additional strip of nine beads one at a time in square stitch. So we'll pick up one of our seed beads, go down through that ninth seed bead from the first row, pull tight, go through the Delica again, and then sew up through that seed bead on our next row and pull. Pick up another seed bead and now go down through the last two seed beads on the next row and go back up the two seed beads on the left-hand side. We'll continue in this manner, picking up a seed bead and now going through the next two from the bottom of that first row. And then head up through the two on the left hand side. So keep doing that until you have nine seed beads in place directly next to those first nine that we had added. And when you get to your last one, you can just go through that 
seed bead at the bottom of the pico again if you can get through it and then return down through that first strip of nine seed beads and then go through your delica there in that center ring and sew through the next two seed beads and the next delica to get to your next section where you'll do the same thing. This time you'll just be starting from the delica. So you're gonna pick up nine of your seed beads. Then you'll go through that 15-0 at the bottom of this pico. And you're gonna be adding in another strip of nine seed beads, one at a time in square stitch, just like we did, but this time going from top to bottom. So continue in that manner until you have four strips completed. And the back of your beadwork should look something like this. And what you can do with this is a lot of different things. It gives you four different openings on each side. If you wanted to slip some type of stringing material underneath those strips, you could do that. You can also bead directly onto these strips in order to connect multiple components together. And even if you don't use them, it just adds a little bit of reinforcement to the back of these components and makes them feel really complete. And once you have four of them done, you can then weave in a little bit of the remaining working thread that you have, trim off your excess, and your component is complete. So if you'd like to make the example necklace that I shared at the beginning, you can just back up the video if you need to and make two more of these components. And I'll be coming back with a follow-up tutorial to show you how I put that necklace together. Feel free to put these together however you would like though. And like I said, you can even use these separately in a pair of earrings, maybe just do one as a pendant. You could even have a drop bead hanging down from the bottom. So you can really get creative with something like this. But that's all for this time. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me. Once again, you can check right down below the video for that materials list and links to the materials, as well as the link to the Beading School Academy subscription box, which I highly recommend. It's full of lots of inspiration, and I often come back with tutorials from those boxes. Stay tuned in the next few days to a week. I'll be coming back with part two of this tutorial if you need it, and we'll turn these components into a new necklace. That's all for now. Feel free to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're here. Also, if you plan to give this a try or if you have, definitely leave a comment down below. I always love to hear from you. And feel free to share this video wherever you like by using the share button down below, especially with any beading groups you may be a part of or with your other beading friends. Until next time, I will see you all again real soon. I hope you have fun with these components and have a fabulous rest of your day, and as always, happy beating.